You've He's got steady. things going on. What we do in the shadows. Yeah. Which, by the way, I, first of all, I love the movie. Um, Taiki Waititi? Taika. Taika, Taika Waititi. Oh, mother God. I it. <laughs> Taika Waititi, right? I saw the movie and I fell in love with it. I couldn't get the song out of my head. You're dead, you're, you're dead. dead. <laughs> Ryan loves the show. I love the show. I don't watch many shows. And this is one that I watch. I haven't started the fourth season. You got to catch up. Uh, I'm going to catch up. <laughs> but I'm what? What? I'm current on it. You're so current? You oh, yeah. Oh, tonight's an episode. Is an episode. It? Oh, yeah. yeah. But I, it's what an exciting show to be on. And you, you, were you uncertain that they were going to pick it up? Because they waited a while, didn't they? Well, I didn't know if we were going to. Well, first of all, I didn't know I was going to get the role because Guillermo was written 20 years older than I am. And so uh. I, I got the audition by, uh, by accident. I went to a wine and cheese night. You went Hollywood. to wine and cheese night. Wine and cheese night that my friend Mimi Michaels was having. That's not that's not her stage, and that's her name, Mimi Michaels. Mimi Michaels. Um, we met in a commercial set years and years ago. We became friends, and she just had a newborn, and she had brought the baby to see the family here in the West Coast. Her brother, uh, it was her, her husband, the baby, her bro- at her brother's house, and she was like, "Just come by, say hi. I won't see you for you know who knows because I'm going to go back to the East Coast, and I haven't been able to get back there at that point." So I said, okay. So I went to the wine cheese night. And I met this girl who was there. Her name was Yvonne, her friend uh, from before that I never met before. And we didn't talk about the Hollywood or business or anything. We we're just having like a good old time. And the next day I get a text from an unknown number. And I was like, hey, you were so fucking funny last night. I was like, thanks. Who's this? And so it's Yvonne. And I was like, oh, Yvonne from last night. I got your number from Mimi's. Uh, I hope that's okay. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. And I think you should audition for my fiance's new show. And I was like, your fiance's new show. Yeah. And Who's I was your like, fiance? I was, exactly. I was like, okay, I don't do those kind of films. <laughs> and she was like, no, but you should hurry because ca- they've cast everyone in this show except for this role. And I was like, okay. So I call my agent and tell her, her fiance is Garrett Bash at the time who produces the show. And I told my agent, I was like, I got to get in for this show. And they're like, okay, we'll get you the script. And they're like, oh, wait, the characters, are you sure that's the character? I was like, yeah, it's 20 years older than you are. And I was like, Oh, she said I'd be fine for it, so I'm gonna believe a stranger. You know, go with that. And they're on like, on a whim. On a whim. And I was like, well, maybe I shouldn't go in for it. And they're like, and I said, who's casting it? And it's like Allison Jones. And I was like, oh. I was like Allison Jones. If you know Allison Jones in Hollywood, I was like, she's cast everything that I've always loved. You know, Bridesmaids, The Office, Fresh Prince, Golden Girl, like you name it. You know what I mean? And I was just like, I want to go meet her. I've never met her. So I was like, okay, this is my chance. I'll just meet her. I'll just make myself look older. So I got this long sleeve orange shirt and brown sweater vest and Harry Potter glasses. And I don't know, like Guillermo's and the one that I knew at that time was not a poster in my writing partner's um, office. And it was Guillermo del Toro. And it was from his monster's book. And he had his hair curled to the sides like this. And he had round glasses. And I was like, oh. I was like, I'll mimic that. So I mimic my look off of how, how long did you have to learn your lines? There was like the uh, the complimentary audition, as I call it. Uh, they called that day, and the audition was the next day. Did you learn all your lines? I learned everything. I went home and like went over it, and I was like, "Oh shit, he is older." And I was like, "Okay, well, I'm gonna play it at my age. I'll play him at my age now." Fine, that's fine. So I was really looking forward to meet Allison, going to the office, and I'm like, "I'm here to meet Allison Jones." Like, oh, she's not here. I was like, "Well, no, I have an audition for her. No, we'll put you on tape. She's in London audition for Guillermo's." Okay, so I was like, well, "Great!" And then they put a microphone on me, and I had Ben, the casting associate, who's wonderful too, and. He was like, okay. And then I remember doing it and I was looking up and then he's like, Harvey? And I went, yeah. And he goes, you're done. And I was like, oh, thank I just completely went away. Like, I don't remember what I did for the audition. And I was like, oh, thank you. You were I, so into I, it. I was so into it. That you forgot, forgot what you had done. What done. You didn't know if you'd done well. Nothing. You'd done poorly. Nope. So I walk wow. out, I'm walking out the door and he goes, Harvey, wait. And I go, oh. I think, you know, you're going to Hollywood, kid. You know, you should go to the next level. He goes, the microphone. And he <laughs> takes it. We need the microphone, Harvey. And he took the microphone off of me. And I was like, oh, shoot. I, I think I messed it up. And then I went outside and my agent calls. How'd you do? And I was like, I don't know. And I was like, well, we'll check in. We'll see. Two hours later, they called back and they had shown everyone at FX. Taika, Jermaine, Paul, Stephanie, like her, her fiance, uh, Garrett had seen it. Allison had seen it in London. And they all agreed to test me unanimously. They were like, it was the first time they voted to test someone unanimously at the first for the whole run. And I was going to be the wild card because I was too young. And I was like, fuck. And I was like, okay, it's fine. I'll get to meet them eventually. You know, I'll do the the test and whatnot. 